today I'm going to teach you guys how to find the EMF of the cell described in this cell diagram. Fe, Fe2+, Au, uh, Au3+, and Au. So this is number 188 in the problem set, just for reference so that you all know. So what is the standard EMF of a cell? It's the overall state of voltage for a oxidation half reaction and a reduction half reaction. So the first thing that we're going to do here is write the reaction out. So it's going to be Fe S plus Au 3 plus aqueous I believe. Let me just check on that. Yeah. And then Fe2 plus aqueous plus Au solid. Okay, so now you see that we wrote the half reactions and now we have to figure out which one's the reduction and which one's the oxidation as well as the anode and the cathode. So, as you can see here, Fe is going is from going from 0 to 2 plus, meaning that Fe is losing two electrons. So if it's losing two electron, electrons, you should always think Leo the lion says grr. So since it's losing electrons, Leo, so lo loss of electrons is equal to oxidation. So the oxidized one out of these two elements is Fe. So Fe is equal to oxidation. So now we can figure out that AU, AU goes from 3 plus to 0. So 3 plus to 0. So in total it's losing, no, it's gaining 3 electrons. So we think of GER. So AU, gain of electrons is equal to reduction. So if you remember, I posted another video about cell EMF. You should always think red cat and an ox. So the anode would be Fe, which is iron, and the cathode would be Au, which is gold. So now that we have the anode and the cathode, all we have to think of is the standard reduction potentials. So the standard reduction potential for Fe is negative 0 0.41, 0 0.41 volts. And for AU, it's plus 0 0.50 volts. So from here, we can use the E cell equation, which is E of the cell is equal to E cat minus E n, which is E cathode minus E anode. So if you plug in these values right here, according to the cathode and the anode, it'll equal 0 0.50 minus negative 0 0.41, sorry I keep putting 0, 0.0, and that'll equal 0 0.91 volts. So that's E of the cell. So now we're not finished yet. Since we have the molars, the molarity of these two, we can use the Nernst equation, which is, let me just write that out, Nernst equation or formula, and that's E so you can see E is equal to E of the cell minus 0 0.0257 over N, which is the number of electrons transferred in this case. N is equal to 6 ln of Q. So from here, Q is the reaction quotient, which is basically the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So now, uh, if you guys want to write that down, pause it so that I can erase and then I can get more space so that I could plug in all the values for right here. So let me go ahead and do that. So just erasing all this. So now let's plug in all the values. So E is equal to E cell, which is 0 0.91 volts minus 0 0.0. 257 over 6 ln of Q. 
Q, which is the 1.5, which is the iron, M over 0.00400 M of the gold. And the answer that you should get is E is equal to 1.89. So your answer choice letter would be B. I hope everything made sense. If you have any questions, clarifications, just go back to the video and just see where you're kind of messing up, see where you need a little help, what you don't understand. And thank you guys for watching.